We're dependent largely on fossil fuels for our energy today and this is having very negative consequences on the planet. So TerraMap is a project to build a robot that can phenotype many sorghum plants, far more than we can do with a huge team of people, so that we can now take advantage of the known genetic to produce more productive and more sustainable sorghum plants for the nation. If you think of the genome as a road map, we're looking for the road and the mile marker in the genome that affects height, say, or whatever other trait we're interested in. We're going to look at all the phenotypes, all the genotypes, and compare them and see if we can connect specific areas in the genome with traits that we're interested in. Knowing the genes in each of these, we can now do a statistical analysis which will start to tell us which genes or groups of genes are associated with these different properties. And that then allows us to start to combine these to, if you like, make the super sorghum that we need for the future. Its real advantages are its mobility. We can pack it in a case, the case that you see I'm sitting on. There are other robots that may be fixed in a field and cost significant amounts of money. So we're talking costs in the thousands for the robot with the same capabilities that the larger in-place systems have that may cost in the millions. The robot navigates autonomously to a predefined set of waypoints and using a GPS system that gives us centimeter level accuracy. The robot can drive around a foot per second and that allows us to collect an acre of data multiple times in a single day. Really aggressive tracks allow the robot to navigate as it would in normal conditions when the soil is very wet and very muddy. And also the light weight of the robot allows it to have little to no impact on the soil. The robot is completely game changing because we'll be collecting a thousand times more information from the robot than we could possibly do manually. We're working with Signatron, which is a company out of Berkeley in California. And what they're doing with the data that we're collecting is them reconstructing the plant as a three-dimensional image. You can imagine being able to look at a smartphone or a tablet device to see those characteristics streaming back from the robot in real time. We expect that TerraMap technology will be available to plant breeders sometime in 2019. There are additional opportunities with this TerraMap project with some customization. The robot can be used for other crops and for other ag users. This is something that will start at a basic model of $5,000. So it will help speed up the whole phenotyping effort and bring better varieties, better genotypes that can be used for producing biofuels at very large scale and at very high yields. That will essentially give us a perpetual sustainable and renewable source of energy into the future.